Hey guys, we are going to multiply a whole number by a mixed number. Okay. Super exciting things happening. Okay. So actually before I multiply these, I'm actually going to turn my mixed number into an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when the top is bigger than the bottom. Apparently it's very improper. Okay. So to do that, I will do it here, but I'll also link um, another example in the corner if you need it. But I take my denominator and I multiply it by the big number. So nine times two gives me 18. And then we add the numerator, so 19, okay? So I end up with 19 as my numerator of my improper fraction and my denominator stays the same, it's a nine, okay? This is being multiplied. And I wanna make three look like a fraction. It doesn't look like a fraction right now, but I can always make a number look like a fraction by putting it over a one, okay? So three over one, okay? All right, now the good news about when we multiply fractions is that the denominators don't have to be the same, okay? So we can just go ahead and multiply straight across. But there's two ways I could look at this, okay? So we're gonna kind of look at two ways. The first way is we multiply and then simplify. The other way we simplify first, okay? So let me kind of show you what that looks like. So when we multiply first, I just multiply straight across. Three times 19 gives me 57. And one times nine gives me nine. Okay, so there's my answer, but we always want to simplify it down. So when I look at that, I think, is there a number that can go into both 57 and nine? And three goes into both of them. Okay, so I can divide the three out of the top and bottom. If you're not super familiar with simplifying fractions, I'll link a video in the corner. Okay. So when I divide three out of both of those, I end up with 19 thirds, okay? And then oftentimes we do want it back as a mixed number. It's just kind of easier for us to understand it as a mixed number. So to do that, I ask myself, how many times does three go into 19? Well, it goes six times, which three times six gives me 18. So there's one left over, right? And we are still in thirds. Okay, so there's one way. The other way, a lot of times is quicker. Um, so it's before we multiply, we look at this and you notice if anything can cancel from the top with anything on the bottom. So I notice three and nine, okay? So I go ahead and think, okay, well, three goes into three once and three goes into nine three times, okay? We're taking out the three the same way we did here. We're just doing it before we multiply this time, okay? So then when I multiply across, I get one times 19 gives me 19. And one times three gives me three. And look at that. I just simplified beforehand. And then it simplifies or converts, I should say, to the same mixed number. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Three times two and one ninth gives me six and one third. I will link some other fraction videos if you need them. Bye.